for f of x equals x squared plus 5x minus 3, find f of 2, f prime of 2, and the slope that is normal to f of x at x equals 2. Express all answers as exact values. Well, starting with the first, that's pretty straightforward. We're just evaluating the function itself. So 2 squared plus 5 times 2 minus 3 would be 4 plus 10 minus 3, or 11. Now, f prime of 2, that's a little bit trickier because we need to evaluate the derivative. And uh, one means that we can do that with is through the uh, difference quotient, um, or we can take a look at slopes of secant lines and observe the value of of the secant lines as they approach the point of interest. Uh, I'm going to use the secant lines here. So what we do is we set up um, a function that calculates a secant line around a particular point. So y2 is going to be the function itself minus y1, which is the y value of the point of interest, so 11 over x minus uh, 2, okay? Because I'm using the first point as 2, 11, just like we calculated the 11, and the second point as x comma x squared plus 5x minus 3. So let's see, x squared plus 5x minus 14 all over x minus 2. Now, if you simplify this, you can do it by factoring. Because the thing, if, if you plug in 2, you get 0 over 0. So this would be like 4, sorry, yes, 4 uh, plus 5 times 2. So 4 plus 10 is 14, minus 14 is 0. And of course, 2 minus 2 is 0 in the denominator. So that means they have a shared factor. And if you uh, cancel out that shared factor, then you can get a function where you can plug in the value of interest. So the slope of the uh, tangent line at 2 is going to be 2 plus 7, which is 9. As we get further in the course, we'll have easier ways of doing that, but for now, that's the best we can do. Now, a normal slope. So some normal in mathematics is another way of saying perpendicular. So if you want a slope that's perpendicular to any slope, something that's perpendicular, so we generally say a perpendicular slope is just the negative inverse of some other slope. So the perpendicular slope at this point is going to be the negative inverse of that slope that's at 2. 